Welcome back to my classroom. Teacher Natalie here. Before we get started, I have a candy bar. I want to give you a candy bar. So, would you like one half of candy bar number one or one half of candy bar number two? You picked candy bar number two. Congratulations! You get one half of this candy bar. You picked candy bar number one. Congratulations, you get one half of this candy bar. No, teacher Natalie, that's not fair. Number two got a bigger piece than me, but I both gave you one half. You have the same amount, do you? No. I can't compare these two candy bars because they are not the same whole. That is very important. I can give you one half, but they are not the same size. That's not fair. I can't compare these two candy bars to each other. So, let's move on to comparing other fractions. I have three six and four eighths. This is where it is very important that the same whole, I have the same whole. Let's draw our fraction bar. Here's my first fraction bar. My second fraction bar, eh, where's my second one? Are they the same whole? No, this one's longer. I can't compare these two. I'll get the wrong answer. Let me draw the second one again. We have to make it the same length, the same sized whole. My first fraction, three six. My numerator is three, my denominator is six. Six, that tells me how many parts are in my whole. I have six parts. Now, I need six parts. If I draw six lines, am I gonna get six parts? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are my six lines. Do I have six parts? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is not gonna work. I'll get the wrong answer. Let's try that again. Let's draw another fraction bar. Okay, I need six parts. In order to get six parts, I just need to draw one less line. Five lines. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's double check my parts. Do I have six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. I am counting parts, not the lines. Now my numerator is three. That tells me how many parts I need to color in. One, two, three. There is three six on a fraction bar. My next fraction, four eighths. My denominator is eight. I need eight parts to my whole. Not eight lines, eight parts. So I'm gonna draw seven lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's double check my parts, make sure I have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did it right, I drew it right. How many are gonna be colored in? My numerator tells me that. Four. One, two, three, four. This is close. Which fraction is bigger? Three six is bigger. More spots are colored in. It is longer. 
3 6 is greater than 4 8. Let's do another one. I have 2 6 and 5 6. My denominators are the same this time. Now, my holes are the same length. I can get started. Six parts to my hole. So I'm going to draw five lines. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six spaces. I did it right. How many spaces am I going to color in? My numerator tells me two. One, two. My next fraction, five, six. I need six parts to my whole. My denominator tells me that. Five lines, one, two, three, four, five, six spaces, six parts. How many parts do I need colored in? My numerator tells me that five. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. <gasps> Five, six. Two, six is less than five, six. Let's do one more. One half and one third. Hmm. Let's compare. One half. I need two parts to my whole. One, two. How many are going to be shaded in? I need one part shaded in. There's one half. My next fraction, one third. I need three parts to my whole. Three parts. How many are shaded in? My numerator tells me that. One. One. <gasps> One half is greater than one third. Guys, we just compared fractions using fraction bars. Way to go! Now, question for you. If I have an apple and an orange and ask, did you want three-fourths of that apple or one half of that orange? Can I compare apples and oranges? No, they're not the same whole. They are not the same whole. Guys, it was good to see you. Thank you for joining me in my classroom today to draw fraction bars. See you next time. Goodbye.